Hi, my name is Tony Tripoli. I'm a photographer and I live in Brooklyn, New York. When I shoot digital, like on a shoot, normally I'll shoot like 600, 700 or more frames. And then like when I shoot film, I don't shoot nearly that many shots and I still end up getting more shots I like on film because when I'm shooting film, it's like you constantly have to make sure that the shot isn't the exact same shot you just shot. Where when you have like the freedom to shoot digital, it's like you just bang on the shutter over and over and over again. And sometimes you just shoot the same thing for what feels like forever. So I find that I get like better results when I shoot film. Um, and then on top of that, just like the overall like aesthetic, I hate the word aesthetic. People use it wrong, but I'm using it right here. But uh, the overall like aesthetic of how film looks, I really like. So I could spend like hours retouching a digital photo to try and make it look as much like a film photo because I just, that's the, the look I like or I could just shoot film and get the look I like right out the box. Uh, the thing I really like about the Loma Chrome Metropolis is it looks cross-processed, but it's C41, so it's still like really easy to develop. Photo shoots nowadays, especially like in the digital world, there's like, it's not just a photographer looking through and seeing what he's seen, it's a bunch of other people looking through and, and calling out things, which can be good, but when you're going for like that look of how film like, you know, especially how certain films deliver, you know, you, you gotta make those sacrifices. And a lot of times that's difficult working professionally to get people to understand that. Um, and then on top of that, just like, you know, there's a little bit of an added cost to shooting film. You, it's not just like digital where you shoot it to a card and go home and put it in your computer. Like, you know, I have to buy the film. I have to drop the film off to get developed. I have to either scan the film myself or have someone else scan it. And like all that stuff takes time. And, you know, in a photo world, you, you're billing off of time. So, I mean, that stuff kind of adds up. And thus, shooting film can cost a little more nowadays if, if you don't want to take a loss. Um, I think, like, people who are into that look um, and, like, that's really what they want, then it's kind of easy to sell them on it. But you, I find that it's easiest to talk to people beforehand kind of in depth. Like, so when we're on the shoot, I'm going to shoot film. You're not going to be seeing the shots live. So just like be aware of that. So a lot of the shots that I chose today were just, I was looking for like good reflected light um, that I could then use the city as a backdrop just because the film has like a more desaturated kind of contrasty, like I said, like almost like cross-processed look. Using the city as like a backdrop and everything like that, it kind of gives it just like a kind of like grungier, more, I don't know, I, I just felt it looked more characteristic of the film. I think one of the things I'm most excited about Loma Chrome Metropolis is, and just like with like the Loma Chrome Purple and other film stocks in the past, like the Red Scale and stuff like that, is it's cool to have films that create a slightly different effect. So many people who shoot film are shooting on very uh, similar film stocks. So even though I gravitate towards how those shots look and are, you know the color and everything in, in film in general, it's nice to be able to have like creative options outside of just the normal uh, film aesthetic. If I had to describe it in one word, I would describe Loma Chrome Metropolis as desaturated.